The life of a teenage gamer shifts gears from in front of a console to behind the wheel in the thrilling racing drama, Gran Turismo. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Oh, shut up! I'm not missing my race. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Don't trip in my dad's car. Yes, we're not going to jail! <laughs> oh, crap. I think people are going to be unbelievably surprised by this film. People will, I think, go in for the for the adrenaline, for the for the cars, for the race, and you're going to get that in bucket loads. You really get a feeling of being there inside the car. It's aggressive. It's visceral. There's a human element to it as well. There's a life element. It's got layers. It's depth. The film is incredibly emotional, incredibly grounded, real lessons of overcoming adversity, of, of strength, of determination, of passion, and I think all of those things are going to keep people captured. Think you're going to play a stupid video game about cars and you're going to become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. The thing about the movie that I thought was unique and a different way to approach video game films was this totally unusual approach of it being a biography. The 10 of you are the best Gran Turismo players in the world. Now is your chance to race real cars. This is insane. The video game is so integral to his journey and to the movie. I thought that was like a really, really cool and unusual way of approaching a video game movie. It's not gonna work. The guys who race are elite athletes. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. That's where you come in. Hmm. Getting into motorsports, such an unusual way of the game, the Gran Turismo. I was starting at the ground level, never driven a racing car, never been to a track, never did go-karting. All I had was Gran Turismo, my wheel and pedals in my bedroom. I couldn't believe it was real. If it was written by, by a screenwriter and just presented as a story someone had concocted, you'd never believe it. People would leave thinking, oh God, Hollywood again, just coming up with these ridiculous ideas. For me, it felt normal. People say that is not normal, but at the time it felt normal. And But the drive within me, I guess, was a thing and the perseverance and being young and no self-preservation, just wanting to go fast, be the best that I can be. I know what I'm doing, I'm not afraid. I've raced this track a thousand times in the game. Let me drive it my way. That was actually pretty great. I was also so excited about getting the chance to tell this young person of color story in a huge studio scale like that, especially this young British mixed race guy, someone that looked like me, sounded like me. It, it's something that I had never seen on a scale like this. This is the major leagues. The other driver, your pit crew are going to hate you. Much easier with a joystick, isn't it? <laughs> the goal with the race sequences was to make it as much of, of an experiential thing as I could. To put the cameras in positions that really let you feel like you were on the track, feeling it in a, in a visceral way. I was lucky enough that Jan was on set the entire time as my stunt driver. And that, I mean, that was a complete one-off experience, something I don't think has ever been done before. I got to meet Archie at Silverstone. He'd never been to a racetrack before. He'd never sat in a racing car. We spoke in person. He wanted to know everything about me. I really admire that because it shows that someone who's playing me wanted to do the best that he could. You've got to prove to everyone that you belong. To find out where to watch any movie, Check out moviephone.com. In person, you wanted to know everything about me. I really admire that because it shows that someone who's playing me wanted 